All right, hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Audio Track Mixer. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro right now. So I'm currently using Audio Workspace here at the top. All right, so make sure to have your Audio Workspace, click on Audio, or you can simply click on this uh, icon here and then look for Audio. If not, you can click on Window, click on Workspace, and click on Audio, all right? So now once we already have in the Audio, uh, you can follow along because we're using the same Workspace, all right? So I have here a sample sequence here, all right? And I have here three Audio, so this one is the clip, all right, I'm going to shake your footage and in the audio one, all right, in the audio two, we have here the uh, sound effects of the sound effect of a birds and uh, an ocean, all right, and the third music here, uh, third audio here, we have the music. All right, so basically uh, we are on the audio track mixer. Basically, there's two audio here, uh, uh, two types of audio, audio clip mixer that we already talked about in the previous video and the uh, audio track mixer that we're going to talk about right now. All right, so the audio track mixer is more, um, uh, you, can, you can do more with audio track mixer than the audio clip mixer. All right, so um, if you want to dive, if you really want to change, you know, if you really want to change keyframes and see the difference, if you want to uh, see the keyframes, you want to change the volume, uh, you know, the levels, you can do it actually here in Audio Track Mixer. All right, so basically you're gonna mix your audio. All right, so, all right, so we have here audio one. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here. All right, as you can see. All right. By the way, if you want to be organized, uh, you can do right click on this and then you can do customize in here. And then here, uh, let's do the track name. Okay, let's put in the track name here so that you will uh, identify it. Just drag this uh, track name, A1, all right? Track name and then drag it here in this blue uh, box here and then click OK. And then once you have the track name, as so you, uh, you will see all of the track names is uh, you can change it here, all right? You can change the uh, name here. All right, let's say here the uh, drone footage or just the drone footage. Okay, click OK. All right, as you can see, it's kind of short there. Drone footage and this the birds, you know, sound effects. All right, and then we have here the music. Okay, and then you will see those details right here. All right, so to make it organized again, so you do right click, and then you to uh, and you choose customize. And then you can just drag and drop it in here, and then there you have it. All right, the A1 or the audio track name should be in there. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and try to look for this music. Let's try to play it. All right, so let's go ahead and try to look first here. So we have the master here, right? Master, master, and we have the uh, the audio that we're using to record. Uh, if you want to record the voice over here, all right, you can do that by, uh, you know, you can do that by just pressing this icon, right? Now, um, so this one is the left and right, okay? So if you want to, you know, say for example, you want this audio to be here on the left channel, so everyone can watch the uh, video, uh, they will hear the the audio coming from the left headphones, all right? If that speaker left speaker all right so that's how it works and then you can just drag it right there all right and you're gonna hear the music more on the right audio or right headset of the uh people's gonna watch it all right so basically i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit zero so that you will be so the music will be balanced in the left and right so the audience will hear your music you know balancedly on the right left and right all right so but if you want to achieve you know more on the right side so if you're trying to do a dynamic you know moving the audio you can do it right here all right so um okay let's move on so we have here read latch touch and write so basically what we, uh we're gonna uh, uh we're going to um, understand here the read and the uh touch all right so if you're gonna read this one all we had to do is to read these you know these volumes all right we can just read the volumes all right so even though you change this you know there's you, you cannot make changes in this one because you're just basically reading the uh the waveforms or the music right here all right this using these uh meters right and if you want to make some uh uh touch all right if you want to write it all right let's go and try to sort of do the uh, write uh function in here all right so let's say this this is our music here and this is our third is our music right here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to uh touch this make sure it's in the touch 
I'm going to try to make some changes in this audio. All right. So I'm going to put uh, S first so that this this is the only video that will go going to play solo. It will automatically mute those, you know, uh, other audio if there is and the other audio in the timeline. So let's try to play this. All right. Let's try to. Let's try to start with the very uh, beginning here, and then slowly increase the audio. All right, and then pause it. Now let's try to play and. Uh, hang on, let's try it again. All right. As you can see, it's automatically increasing it. All right, that's the work of touch, right? Because I touch it, uh, that's why it's, uh, you know, creating a keyframe on this audio. If you want to see the keyframe that I created while I'm doing this volume, all right, just double click on this and then you will see this keyframe right here. This is our keyframe that was created while I'm navigating this, um, uh, you know, this bar, all right? So if you want to see that keyframe, show keyframes, all right? So we have here the uh, track keyframes, the volume or the mute. Track panel, we have balance, clip, keyframe. So what you want to do is you want to go to track keyframes and then click on volume so that you will see those keyframes on the volume. All right, this is our volume here, right here. Okay, so if you play this, so I change it to zero, all right? And then I gradually increase those volume. There you go. So that's how you do the touch. Now let's try to go here. Let's try to double click it to squeeze it. And let's go with the uh, with the birds. All right. Let's click on solo with the birds. Okay. And 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 uh uh disable this and then let's go to the uh, audio two, which is the birds, all right? Now let's try to play this. Alright. So I'm gonna change so we are currently on the read here. We're currently on the read, right? So I'm gonna play this. All right, I'm going to play this, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, this one. All right, I'm gonna start with this one and slowly increase, like in the uh, music. All right, let's see if that's if this will take effect. All right, stop. Okay, let's see. All right, I'll try to play this. Okay, and um, try to look in this bar. Okay, to see if that will also move or uh, behave like uh, the the one that we did here. All right, let's try to play it. See, it's not moving at all. All right, let's try to put it here. Let's see if this will increase. Okay, let's try to play. No, it's not increasing. It's not moving at all. All right, it's not moving at all. All right, it's not. It's like uh, what we did here. All right, did not re uh, record. All right, because we are currently on the read mode. All right, read mode means you're not gonna, you're not changing anything. You're just reading it. All right. So you wanna, you know, you wanna read this in the zero. All right, you can, you can do that. All right, but we're all gonna play. But you're not making any changes. Right, you're just reading it. Okay. So if you wanna make changes in here, you can do uh, to right here, and then once you play this, all right, let's say. Let's say start here and then we uh, in also increase this gradually, okay, at the same time with that music. And let's try to down it again, slowly. There you go. All right, cool. Now, once we play this, all right, so we are currently on the touch and we try to, you know, manage this bar and uh, let's try to play that. Okay, I'm playing right now. Look at that bar, all right, so it's increasing. All right, because we are in the touch mode, mm -hmm. as you can see, now it's slowing down. I'm not even touching anything. All right, there you go. So that's how you do the read and touch of these uh, audio track mixer. All right, basically that's that's all that uh, you probably would uh, know, and then you can just basically experiment with this. All right, uh, you can change these settings right here. All right, you can just drag and drag to the right like this. Drag it to the right, drag it to the left, all right, it's up to you, all right? And also here, the settings, all right, right click on the settings and you will see the customization here. Uh, you can drag and drop all of this inside of the box so you, if you wanna see those information, all right? And then um, you can do right click on this, 
all right so basically that is your audio track mixer all right all right so let's try to play it All right, basically that's how you use audio track mixer inside Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.